Hi guys, hi Henke, hi Alexi, welcome Hello. to our headquarters and thank you for taking the time to answer some of the fans' questions. Of course. Uh, first of all, of course, Alexi, happy birthday to you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, and let's start right away with the first question that comes from Philip, who says um, that he noticed um, that what he heard, some something, uh, obviously he heard already one song of the new album and he said it seems to differ from the um, Are You Dead Yet, Blood Drunk, um, Relentless, Reckless, Forever era and it's more back to um, the Something Wild, Hate Breeder, Follow the Reaper thing as far as he notices. Can you agree on that? Is, is that true? Well, that's what I've heard from a lot of people. I've heard it, so uh, I guess there's some truth to it, yeah. I mean, it wasn't like intentional or anything, but Maybe there's more old school bottom in, in there, you know, with an updated sound. Mm -hmm. Might want to put it that way. Mm -hmm. Karen Day says, um, first, happy birthday to you, Alexi, too. <laughs> Thank you. And um, her question is, the way that you compose songs, um, is it that you write down every note or do you, like, try and memorize things? And do you remember things that you didn't record later on or are they lost forever? And, or no, I mean, I always remember everything. It's, I mean, usually. Yeah. Oh, one <laughs> I, yeah, that one time, <laughs> it's like, they were like on my uh, four tracker at home. I just couldn't like get it down. <laughs> After okay. that, I had to like bring it like to the rehearsal place. But anyway, but yeah, it's like, I usually uh, record them at home and then, you know, go to the rehearsal place and then we just start jamming on them. And, you know, that's how the song starts usually. Emily Shepard. Um wants to know who portrays Roy the Reaper in the videos and album artwork. Is it a band member, crew, or just an actor? In the videos, I think it's only once. <coughs> yeah, actually, it's only once. I think it's only, in, only every time I die video. Mm -hmm. And that was part of, he was <laughs> our friend. I don't know if it's, if it's public. <laughs> in oh, he was a friend. <laughs> he was <laughs> a friend. Okay. And in the he was the Reaper, he was the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> Fabio Gonzalez Romero says that you, Alexi, mentioned that this record uh, will have the among the fastest and also slowest songs in the bottom catalog. Um, can you expand on it? Why did you decide to take this direction? Well, I, didn't, I never decided on anything, you know, that's just how it turned out. And uh, those two songs, uh, which is true, by the way, they, you know, there's the, the definitely the fastest one that we ever done. And it just, just came out spontaneously, you know, just like the, the slow one did. So nothing was ever thought out beforehand, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, cool. Um, Vincenzo Campo Capone um, wants to know, well, he really likes your guitar style and um, he wants you to suggest him some tips that you use to incorporate into some of your own personal technique and style. Is there something spe specific that he could practice on his guitar Chicken to picking. <coughs> become as good as you? Chicken picking. Uh-uh. No? <laughs> I don't do that. Okay. I still don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't even know what that <laughs> is. I suck at it. I don't <laughs> even know what that is. Okay. <laughs> um, well, you know, alternate picking is really good for many reasons, because it's just like basically it helps your playing not only for solos, but, but uh, rhythm guitar playing wise, uh, you know, as well. So that's something that you might want to practice with a metronome. So it's a basic thing. It's kind of boring. It can be boring, but it's very important too. Cool. Same person wants to know from both of you, what are your favorite hobbies outside of music are? <coughs> Cars. Football. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas Baskeme Eriksson um, wants to know which bands got you both into metal? What was your where <sighs> first bands you started? That was a long time ago, but yeah. I remember hearing the first Wasp album that my sister was playing for me and uh, but, you know, it all started from, from, you know, more like hair metal, glam rock, you know, from like Poison and stuff like that. And then it got into like Skid Row and Guns N' Roses and then it got to heavier direction like Metallica and Anthrax, Slayer, Sepultura, you know, then from there on, you know, it got more into death metal and black metal. Mm -hmm. I remember very clearly that when I heard first time the <coughs> Pantera's vulgar display of power and then at the same time approximately was Season of the Abyss from Slayer. Mm -hmm. I think those were the most... <coughs> mm -hmm. Most important ones. So the real classics. Yeah. Cool. 